Hi guys. Last year, or it may even have been the year before, I did a request for somebody to make a radio control door lock. And I did it literally as requested. So I used my radio control transmitter, a receiver, a servo, a little battery pack, and made a little model of it with a piece of cardboard with a door cut in it and a sliding latch and it worked absolutely fine but I did point out that it was a very expensive way to do a remote controlled door lock you wouldn't normally want to be walking around with one of these in your back pocket and you wouldn't really want to leave a decent receiver um, permanently attached to a door and I said it's probably much easier to use one of those single channel remote um, switches which you can buy from eBay quite cheaply. This is one of them. So that's the remote control. This one's actually got two buttons and a little aerial. And this is the receiver. which has an input at one end where you connect the battery to power the receiver. It has a relay there that's operated by the receiver and that's all that it operates. It just turns that relay on and off. And that relay has three contacts on it. Normally closed, common, normally open, which is a standard relay. In fact, this one, even though it's got all three contacts there, it only gives you two screw terminals there. So that's the common and the normally open. So what happens is when you operate this, and this has got a battery attached to it, which isn't there at the moment, but when you operate this, that operates the relay and that closes the contacts just there. So you need to attach something to there to make your door lock open and closed. And again, from eBay, you can you can actually get the proper thing, which is a door lock with a little solenoid on it that actually opens the door for you. So you can do that. Um, the proper solenoids with the door lock attached to them are relatively expensive. Not really expensive, but more expensive than one of them. So you could buy a cheaper servo, sorry, a cheaper solenoid like this one. Um, that's the end for it. This one actually doesn't have a spring return on it. It is literally just there. So I've just be bent up a little spring to go on it. Because all that a solenoid does is you pass a current through it that makes it into an electromagnet and that would pull that lever in. If you have a longer spring on it, it pulls it further up to a point where it comes right out and it's no use to you. So that spring may be a little bit short. I could just stretch it. But that will give us our in and out. So when you operate the relay, that energises the solenoid and that will pull in and that's all you need to open a door lock you just need to pull the lock or the catch out of the way to allow the door to swing open so I'll rig this up I'll get rid of all this lock I'll leave the cover off this so we can see what happens I'll stick, I've got this bit of Corex card, uh, or plastic, I'll put a little door on it, just a piece of cardboard flap that'll open like that, I'll blue tack that in place, blue tack that in place, or stick it, hot glue it, one or the other, and I'll arrange it so that when you press the button, the door opens.
So this is quite cheap, I can't remember how much it cost me, but certainly less than £5, probably £1.99 or something like that, knowing me. And that would be a similar price. So for under £10, UK money, you could get yourself a radio controlled door lock. I'll put that together and then I'll talk about it again. All up together. Actually, I'll just zoom in on that so you can see it operating and then I'll talk you through it. Door opens. Door is locked. Door opens. Door is locked. Obviously I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes. You would have a proper door lock there and probably a bigger solenoid. But this is just to demonstrate the principle. Anyway, we'll zoom back out again. So what have we got? We've got a single channel radio receiver, a battery supply to power the radio receiver, and a battery supply to power the solenoid. And I'm doing that to show you that it's two separate power uh, circuits. You can use the same battery, but you'd have to plug it into both ends at the same time. So at this end, this battery is powering the receiver. There's no connection between that battery and that solenoid. When the receiver operates, it operates that relay. That relay operates as a simple switch, an on-off switch, and it makes contact between that yellow wire and that black wire. The yellow wire goes to the positive of the battery, or the negative, it doesn't matter which way round it flows for this solenoid. The black wire comes round to the solenoid and then through the solenoid and back out on the other black wire to the battery. So that circuit is completely separate to that circuit. If you want to, you could use the same battery and feed it through the solenoid as well. But I'm showing you that they're completely separate. So this could be your mains power and you could be switching on um, your, your lights or uh, anything else electrical for that matter but in this case I'm using batteries and we're just operating that solenoid so that's it a very simple circuit and this radio receiver is much cheaper than your normal radio controlled aeroplane or boat or car radio receiver um, that solenoid was pretty cheap, but you really want to get one that's designed for the job, that actually has a proper door lock on it. And it's that simple. Hope that makes sense. Job done.